what's good everybody it's your boy O'Shea Duke Jackson back at it again with another episode of the celebrity junk Dr. Umar Johnson finds himself under fire for his recent comments on an Instagram live, I actually was on that live, of pretty much what he's having to say about Sukiyana. Now, we all know who Sukiyana is, OnlyFans model, entertainer, rapper. She's very, um, let's just call it interesting, okay? She's all of that and more. And some people have questioned Dr. Umar because again, he wants to speak to her about her behavior and coming together to have a platform for black women and girls and um, you know, to pretty much reduce the sexual exploitation of black women and girls. And let me just tell you like this, man, I think that's great. You, you know, uh, people don't know, man, a lot of stuff about me personally, I'm, I'm not anti-woman at all, man. I am very pro-female in many cases, just as much as I am pro-men in, in some cases. Obviously I, I, do, I do stick more towards the men because the men are the ones that develop the community. But hey, anything that can protect women I'm for it. My mom's a woman. No matter how critical of women I can be of, and I, I'm very critical of them. If that can help them, I don't, I'm not a hater. We need that. Because it's, it's better that you get the protection you need than you be out there unprotected and producing kids you can't take care of. And then those kids end up doing things in society that harm everybody. So I'm for that. But now, Dr. Umar has faced some criticism from people. Because again, they're saying, listen, man, she's for the streets. Why are you trying to help her? You see, she don't care. You're wasting your time, right? So then Dr. Umar Johnson comes on live and he explains to his detractors something that we're gonna talk about. Now I wanna play this particular soundbite and then I'm gonna come back. Let me talk about the Sukihana situation one time. Let me talk about the Sukihana situation one time. I don't condone my sister's content. I don't support my sister's content. I will not make excuses for my sister's content. I'm simply saying that if the queen is interested in making a transformation in her agenda, I am willing to aid her in that work. I am not going to cancel her because some of you hypocrites have overlooked popular people in our community who have done worse than Sukihana. Let me say this again, because I want you to understand, overstand, and understand me right now. I want you to understand, overstand, and understand what I'm saying, brothers and sisters. I do not condone my sister Sukihana's content. I do not support my sister Sukihana's content. I will not make excuses for my sister Sukihana's content. But the sister has as much right to make a mistake and then correct it as you and I do. And many of you who want to cancel her outright have overlooked evil and wrongdoing in the black community that has been worse than what she is doing. How many people we got who have taken the life of other people and we still celebrate them right now? How many in our community have been accused and even have been proven to be pedophiles and we overlooked their behavior because they are celebrities? How many have robbed and stolen and killed and abused elders and women and you overlook their wrong? So all I'm saying, don't be a hypocrite when it comes to the black woman, when you have overlooked the sins of black men. All I'm saying is don't be a hypocrite when it comes to black women, when you have overlooked the sins of black men. There are black men who have said and done some of the same things Sukihana has said and done, and they have not been canceled. All I'm saying is be honest in your criticism. Be balanced in your condemnation. All I'm saying is don't have one set of standards for elite celebrities and a completely separate set of standards for upcoming celebrities. That's all I'm saying, brothers and sisters. So let me firstly address 
two things. The first two thing, things I want to talk about is the infrastructure. Dr. Lamar Johnson is talking to her like, hey, listen, I can help put you on a path that can help make you a wife. You're the same guy who don't have a path to even get your school to be built. And I'm not saying this to be mean towards the brother. I'm just saying that you don't represent a group of builder men that can replace Suki Anna's income or wealth in what she's doing now. What could she do if she were to transform her life around? She's a single mom. She got bills to pay. It's how she made her money. We know that you can't pay for her to do that. So again, you're trying to talk to her with your mouthpiece about what you can do, how she should change. But what other group of people will monetize that? That like That's the thing that we talk about. As black men, we, we like to talk about things that don't make any sense. And I'm talking about from her perspective, from his perspective. Clearly, Dr. Lamar don't have any money to take care of any woman. This is the same man that begs on cash apps, begs about donations. So you are you are a beggar, bro. Like that's what you are. Okay. Nobody, no woman respects a beggar. Please help me do this. Please. You're not the kind of guy that goes out and do things for yourself. That's firstly. So you're not that kind of man. Secondarily, why do you feel the need to compare her to the, the worst things that black men have done. And again, black men have nothing to do with this conversation because black men can equally argue that black women have been doing some of the most egregious things in the black community that never get checked. And no matter who they are, and Tupac said it, Tommy said it, you know, I don't want him to say I was stealing his stuff. Even though you're a crack fleeing mama, you'll always be a black queen mama. That's the same. A lot of things that black women do in America, they, they get away with. So again, Black men understand that. You trying to castigate black men for her behavior, now it's intentional. And let me just say this, do black men make a lot of mistakes? Absolutely. Should somebody get on their ass? Absolutely. But this is out of context, bro. And this is why Dr. Umar Johnson don't have any black male followers because now you're not being logical. Now you're looking intentional. The, the, real, the reality of it is black men had nothing to do with why Su Sukiyana is going around acting like a clown. That's just a situation it is, right? And to use black men as an example about forgiveness, this, forgiveness, that. Look, it's been women doing all kinds of stuff that's been forgiven. I'll tell you right now, why need to bite them? She's a preacher. If a man goes out there and do that, like Jamal Harrison Bryant, they was castigating his ass all day and night. Why need to bite them? Been, been, been scamming black women and everybody in the black church. Ain't nobody really saying nothing about it. So even in the same situation, when you have female pastors, you can see certain evidences that they pay a less of a price. Women pay a less of a price in the prison system. Society forgives me. I I'll give you a good example. The woman who's sleeping with the pastor, and I'm not trying to say this is right. She know his wife in church. Okay. I've seen this happen in the black church. You know, your, his wife is in the choir stand. And this is something that the late David Carroll talked about too. But the woman will go out there and sleep with the, with the, with the pastor, get caught doing it. And then act like she's a victim. Well, she knew damn well what she was doing. So again, for him to use that argument about black men, it made no sense, bro. Black men didn't have nothing to do with you meeting her. If you wanted to say she deserves another chance, which I can understand that, just say that. But to go after black men and to make it about black men, about Sukiyana to prove your point that you want to meet up with Sukiyana, it's silly. It's silly and it's uncalled for. It doesn't make any sense. It's childish. Why would you bring up Sukiyana? Or why would you bring up black men? They're on the sidelines, okay? Black men have no, Su Sukiyana has a boyfriend that she's adhering to. They're doing videos of OnlyFans, they got kids. Obviously she don't care. So hey, what folks are saying is, the ladies say she don't care. And I, I got a clip of this, right? What did Umar Johnson say about black men in society that you need to, you know, you need to go ahead on and kill them, right? If they're not doing the right thing, I forgot the clip, you seen, seen them before. Get rid of them, of Pookies and Ray Rays, kill them. I've heard him say that before. If you, you know, you need to go ahead and wipe them out. It's the truth. Dr. Umar has said that. Now, when it comes to women, okay, understandable, whatever. But the reality is, is we're not being serious. We're not being serious. And for you to bring up, bring up black men, it, it's, it's silly. And we, and we now see that Dr. Umar has a certain level of vitriol towards brothers that don't need to be, <laughs> let me just leave it alone, okay? So guys, what do you think it's your boy, O'Shea Duke Jackson? Back at it again with another episode of The Celebrity Drunk. Appreciate you for all you do, sir, with the bell. We're out.